Hello everyone, I am Rupak De. Today I am going to discuss a problem related to function analysis which asked get 2021. Okay, so let's look at the problem and after that we will try to solve it. So now our problem is here L2 space close interval minus 1 to 1 be a Hilbert space of real values square integral functions on close interval minus 1 to 1 equipped with the norm norm of f equal to minus 1 to 1 integration minus 1 to 1 modulus of fx a whole square dx to the power half and consider a subspace capital M equal to f belongs to L2 close interval minus 1 to 1 such that integration minus 1 to 1 fx dx equal to 0. Now for fx equal to x square define d equal to infimum of norm of m minus g such that g belongs to capital M then what is the value of d okay among this option. So this is our problem so that means we have to find here the distance from the function fx to the subspace m so that means we have to find the length of the projection vector of the function fx on m perpendicular. So that means we have to find what is the subspace of m perpendicular. Okay. So I always start with how to solve this kind of problem. So how to solve? So I always start with how to solve. So look at here, so L2 close interval minus one, minus 1 to 1 be a Hilbert space, okay. So we consider I of t, so this is 1, for all t belongs to close interval minus 1 to 1, then I of t belongs to h that means this is the identity function and identity function uh, belongs to the Hilbert space h so now we define a map t such that h to c by t of x equal to inner product of i and x clear then t is linear and why this is left for exercise please do yourself prove that t is also linear okay now mod of t of x sorry mod of t of so so mod of t of x now mod of t of x so this is equal to mod of in our product of i and x so this is equal to modulus of integration minus 1 to 1 i of t bar x t dt okay so this is equal to, so this is less or equal to minus 1 to 1 i of t a whole square or i by t a whole square to the power half into minus 1 to 1 x of t a whole square modulus of so modulus of x of t a whole square dt and to the power half so this is by the holders inequality so this is by holder inequality now look at here so this is equal to minus 1 to 1 so this is here dt okay so minus 1 to 1 dt because i of t here 1 so and this is here norm of 
x2 and this is equal to here so this is to the power half and this is equal to here root 2 into norm of x2 so that means modulus of t of x this is less or equal to root 2 into norm of x2 and norm of x2 is also bounded so this is also less than infinity because x belongs to Hilbert space that means L2 close interval minus 1 to 1. So ultimate we get T is a bounded continuous linear map. Okay. So T is a bounded continuous linear map. Now m look at here m the subspace m so m is equal to car of t and this is equal to t inverse 0 and since t is continuous and 0 is a closed set so that means t inverse 0 is a closed set so that means m is a closed subspace of H. Why? Because T is continuous. So that's why. So that's why M is a closed subspace of H. Clear? You also prove that uh, M is a closed subspace of H by another method so this method is also here or let xn belongs to m such that xn tends to x clear since T is continuous so T of Xn this tends to T of X now Xn belongs to M so T of xn equal to 0. This imply T of x equal to 0. This imply x belongs to m. So m is a closed subspace of h. Okay. So, you also prove that M is a closed subspace of H by this method or this method. So, you can use any one between these two methods, okay, to prove M is a closed subspace of H. Now, so ultimate we get here. So, ultimate we get m is a closed subspace of h now x belongs to m clear so this uh, this if and only if inner product of i of t and x so this is equal to 0 this is if and only if so this is if and only if m equal to this one of i of t 
perpendicular. So this is if and only if this fun of m equal to so this fun of m bar so this is equal to this fun of i of t perpendicular and what is here span of so i write here m equal to span of m bar why because m is closed m is a closed subspace of h so that's why i write here m is equal to span of m bar okay so this is if and only if so this is if and only if m perpendicular perpendicular so this is equal to span of i of t perpendicular so so m perpendicular equal to span of i of t okay so that means is fun of 1 so this is our m perpendicular clear so ultimate we get here m perpendicular equal to is fun of it so m perpendicular so this is equal to is fun of i of t now the distance from now the distance from fx equal to x square to the subspace m is equals to the or each the so each so to the subspace m each the length of the projection vector of fx equal to x square on m perpendicular clear so d of f m so this is equal to modulus of inner product of i and f by norm of i2 clear so this is equal to modulus of minus 1 to 1 i of t bar f of t dt divided by minus 1 to 1 i of t minus 1 to 1 modulus of i of t here whole square to the power half so this is equal to modulus of minus 1 to 1 and i of t here 1 so and f of t equal to t square so t square dt divided by minus 1 to 1 dt so here also dt to the power half and this is equal to here so this is also even function so this is your modulus of 2 into 0 to t sorry 2 into uh, so modulus of 2 into integration 0 to 1 t square dt divided by divided by root 2 clear so this is equal to 2 by 3 divided by root 2 and this is equal to here root 2 by 3 that means d is equal to here root 2 by 3 so 
सो फार्ष्ट अपशन इज अल्सो कारेक्ट क्लियर सो डी इज इक्ल टू हेयर रुट टू बै थ्री सो दिस इज द वे टू एप्रोच दिस कैंड अफ प्रब्लेम एंड आई होप यू गट द आईडिया एंड इफ यू हेव एनी प्रब्लेम रईट इन कमेंट बक्स आई डेफिनेटली ट्राई टू हेल्प यू एंड इफ यू लाइक माई भिडियो सो शेयर एंड सबसक्राइब माई चैनल ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच